quick Naruto um, top 10 endings, quick, easy, and if I don't say anything, really think about it, it's because I barely watched the video or I just really like the music. Number 10 is ending 3 because it was the beginning of the Sai arc where Sai was first introduced as the replacement of Sasuke. And I really just like Sai and I like the music. I listen to music every day when I was little. Um, number 9 has to be my number 9 because number 9 was, um, it just had a really good music to it and that's why I really fell in love with this song. Number 8 is 34. Um, I don't know why but it, it just shows that how the Robin Shop was always there from the beginning before Naruto was even born. That's why I really like oh, 34 as my opening. Number 7 is number 8, Baichikoi. I like Baichikoi because it was just really fun, really heartwarming. It was just really good to listen to as an uprising music. I love the video because it was so funny with my guy and Rock Lee just sitting there encouraging everybody. I just really like the dance that they did and it was just really cool. Number six, I have to say number six has to be number one. It's, I know it's called Shooting Star, but it's a different version for it. Shooting Star was the first one I ever heard, of course. But it was just really, it was just really cool, calm, and it was just really mellow. And it, it was just showing that this is going to be what Nerds going to be like. Really cool, and it's going to be awesome, they're going to mean something. And it's just going to be really good, good to look at at the end of an, every episode. Number five is... Ending 32. This ending was barely even shown in the Naruto Jupiter episodes. It was mostly shown for the filler arc, which I really was mad about because I really love this ending. But this is one of my favorite Naruto songs ever for the whole series. And I just really like it because it's just really how Sasuke and Naruto are joined back together, which is pretty much the time they came back together in the Ninja War. Number four is ending 31. This ending was shown a lot in the filler arc and canon story i really like it because it's it's really calm mellow and it's just the girl the person that actually sung the song she's a really cool person her music is awesome and i and i really like the full version also number three is ending 33. the music th this was almost one of my most favorite songs ever because it was just saying a promise that doesn't need words and to hear this song, it really made me feel good about how Madara's past all led up to this very moment, the Ninja War, and how he just shows he's a bad, always feeding off all these enemies and everything. It was just really good. Number two is number 28. Obito's past was very sad. We all know this. And we keep reliving his past over and over, and that's what they show in number 28. And the song is really slow but fast and that's what I like about songs. I like it being slow and fast and chain up is a beat and it's just really cool to listen to. And Obito was a really one of my most favorite characters, everybody knows that. And it was, he, I really just really love this song. Although it's also shown in the Kakashi Chronicles. Really ironic if it's about Kakashi if it's about Obito or the show Kakashi. But anyway that's not the point. <laughs> Dashy reference. Um number one is ending twenty one. Cascades by my Favorite Japanese band ever, Unlimits. Go check out that music. That music's pretty good too. Um, Unlimits was a pretty good. Um, they only have one song, as far as I know, in the Naruto series. This song is very upbeat, and it's talking about how Naruto and Sasuke have traded paths. I know it shows Sakura and Hinata for a while. That's pretty. That's pretty. It's pretty much a coincidence. Cause Naruto likes Hinata. Naruto likes Hinata. Sakura loves Sasuke. Sasuke is avoiding Sakura. Or whatever, and it's just really mellow. And what really gets me is that the at the end of the at the bit, like very like 40 seconds of the rest of the song is really showing Naruto and Sasuke will fight over and over again and again. Things we already seen before, and I really love this one. Out of every Naruto ending is because it's really dark, but uprising. But it it was really good to see, and I practice the movements of the song all the time. And I just really hope that this we can have more stuff like this in the next endings. This has been Crypto Leader, my quick top 10. Hope you guys liked it. I liked it myself. And I will see you guys later.